Hey, everyone. Welcome to this YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, Salih and Nick and Luca and Samuel, you guys go ahead and comment. I can see everything on here. Um, I wanted to basically do a little uh, live stream talking about storm photos of the year since it's been a real big uh, passion project for me. And we launched it yesterday and already have some um, nice entries coming in. And I'm looking forward to judging. And my friend makes fun of me for you still using this plugged into this um, Yeti mic. And now it's all tangled. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm living in the past. I should be using my, um, my AirPods. But uh, hey, Cody. And um, Goat Fleek, I'm glad we caught you at a good time just for a moment. Um, Chris Tyne Mate. Um, geezer life. In Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, hey, Blas from Spain. Nice to meet you. Thank you all for um, popping on. I know it's, you know, just pops up on your YouTube and I'm um, live and no, um, no plan, unplanned. Uh, but my life is a little crazy with uh, kids home uh, video school and I don't, I'm going to have a tough time planning anything. I'm not really good at planning. So, Scheduling things is not in my repertoire. Uh, flat ride junkie, hey. Um, so anyway, um, if you guys don't know about it or haven't seen it, stormphotocontest.com is the new uh, storm photo photography contest that I just launched with the help of a lot of people and i um, excited about the judges. And I'll show you guys the uh, website here real quick. Um, this is... Uh, this is the website and I'm going to shrink it down so I can scroll through and show you guys. But um, we've got the about page rules <laughs> enter, but uh, I'm really excited for um, our judges. I've got uh, Nick Page and Mike Mejuel, and I'm sure that you guys may or may not already follow them. Uh, a lot of you probably follow Nick on YouTube, subscribe to his channel. He's amazing. And um, Mike Mejuel has been one of my best friends for a long time. And um, he doesn't really do a lot on YouTube, but he is huge on Instagram. He's a big a Nikon guy, uh, ambassador with them. I think he's ambassador. Um, but he was just shooting a volcano last week in Hawaii. And um, he's an awesome guy. These guys are great um, photographers. Uh, this is... Uh, going through some of Nick's like storm stuff that he shot. What I like about Nick is he's really, really um, great at landscape photography and composition and is good at teaching and critiquing. And I think he's going to be a great asset uh, for this contest. And uh, Mike also, and um, he chases storms like me. And he, I mean, these are great compositions, probably something better. I would rather be up high and he gets himself into a beautiful landscape and takes great photos. Um, I'm excited to have Mikey's judge a lot of contests. He's done this before. And, um, and then me, I just do selfies all the time. I'm not a really big deal. <laughs> so, um, so I'm excited about the judges. I think it's going to be really cool to, uh, Hey Chile and Argentina. Um, I'm excited about that. The, uh, the prizes, we got some really cool prizes with, um, uh, uh, stuff from our sponsors, you know, the, the storm photo of the year, you, uh, you're not only going to win 750 bucks, you're going to get a metal print of um, your winning photo. You're going to get a Davis air quality sensor and a, and a lightning trigger four from lightning trigger.com. Um, I always talk about the lightning trigger uh, four. It's great. It's the best one. You should get it. Um, Davis makes the best weather sensors and weather stations out there. Um, the storm photographer of the year wins the Davis Vantage View Suite, which is just sick. I have the Vantage View, and it's fantastic. Uh, Magna Chrome is the one uh, doing the metal prints, and I've been using them for a really long time. So um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the prizes next year. We're hopefully going to have a few more awards, as in like Tornado Photo of the Year and Lightning Photo of the Year. And... Um, I don't know, human element, Mamatis rainbow. We're going to think of some different um, categories that we think will be valuable to people. So, um, and then there's the big rules page. So um, 
which is kind of going over what we call storm photography, what define that when the when the contest is open and then all the rules and some of which um, we've, I kind of just changed the other day. We didn't have, we had like no people, but I'm like, you know what? Someone asked about that. I'm like, you know what? There's no reason to not have people and panoramas are okay. And we require raw files if you're going to be a finalist. However, if you don't have one, um, we are allowing other methods to prove the scene is legit. As in, if you were shooting video at the time or someone else has a picture from that same location, something to prove that your JPEG is actually not manipulated in composite or anything. So um, we know not everybody shoots raw. Um, you should, though. If you don't shoot raw, please start shooting raw. It um, gives you the best flexibility and best ability to edit your photo in the best possible, most professional way. So please shoot raw. Um, but if you don't, you could still enter, and as long as you think you might be able to prove that the scene was real, and um, so yeah, so yeah, Goat Fleek, if you, uh, I don't, um, I don't know what Acme or Acme means. I'm, when I hear Acme, I think something from uh, Bugs Bunny <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> Acme Dynamite, the coyote used to use to try to kill the Roadrunner. So. Um, Jerbot is laughing about wires, and I'm not sure what that is from. But, um, but yeah, we've got some good entries um, so far. Um, is this mine? Yeah. There's a new photo that um, I edited, and um, I'll kind of show you guys real quick because if you, unless you guys have questions about the contest, I will. Um, hey, Tyler. Oh, Tyler, you mean, um, so you're just shooting raw now. Oh, oh, it's your bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, wired. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just embarrassing, right? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try to look at that um, goat. Here's um, here's just a photo that um, is a composite. I figured I would just blah. I just posted it today. I'm kind of curious why it doesn't show up the whole thing, the whole uh, the whole screen. Let's see here. Um, application window. Huh. It's weird. It doesn't show the uh, toolbars or anything. So that's kind of a that's kind of weird. Um, it's missing all the edges in Lightroom. Well, as I said, if you have video of you know evidence, so so the reason that we have to do raw and require raw is that. For example, here's a photo right here. Okay, if someone submitted this and said. Yeah, it's a single photo, and all I have is the JPEG. Most of us would not believe that it was all one shot, of course. And the raw file, if you send me the raw file, proves that, hey, these are all the individual files that it took to make that one shot. And um, um, hold on a second. Show. Oh, I don't want to show. Um, still learning the StreamYard thing. So we need to be able to prove that photos that are out there weren't um, manipulated and faked in order to um, get a good review at a contest. So, so that's why we need the raw file. Um, there's a lot of people out there who will try to um, lie and fudge. I was just talking to a friend of mine actually who had a contest and the winner got a really nice prize and this person is still not sure if it's real after seeing the actual file come in, the TIFF, where there's some information about it that really kind of makes uh, him question whether the, the guy was actually telling the truth or not, because he didn't have a raw file. All he had was a TIFF. So, um, and it was a good award the guy won. So did he make it up? There's a lot of people out there that have, you can see a lot of contests out there where people have used um, photo contests where people just use clip art out there to make their composite photos. And um, granted, it was allowed, but it wasn't allowed to like use stuff illegally, and that person got disqualified later. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, that's why we need the raw file. Um, well, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. Um, you're a you're literally a Canadian kid. Well, oh, you're in school. Are you in school right now or are you at home? 
in school because my kids are in the other room, all three of them in video school, but hopefully back in a couple weeks. Um, Chris, you shoot raw, but you can leave for good weather. <laughs> you can't leave for good weather, maybe you meant to say. Okay, you're doing both. That's cool, Ryan. Well, bad. I know it's. I know video school has been tough for um, my kids, and um, they're really, really um, ready to go um, back to in-person school. Yeah, Tyler, we need to see the metadata for sure. And Tyler, I'm glad you uh, stopped. I mean, you could shooting raw and JPEG is fine. Like if you get if you're shooting raw JPEG and you have plenty of room and you're not time lapsing and you want to do that. You know, if you get a really good photo that you instantly want to share somewhere and you have like a Wi-Fi on your camera or the ability to, you know, throw it up there really fast, then it, it's not bad to maybe do the JPEGs. I don't, but um, I don't usually in that kind of a rush. But doing JPEGs is not a big deal, except when you're dumping your cards and you got multiple images, you know, multiple shots of the same photo. That's kind of annoying to have to go through and delete them if you don't want them. So, um, but yeah, you need to see the metadata. Ah, uh, Chris, that sucks. I know that, um, Chris, I forget where you are again. We've talked a lot, but I don't remember right offhand what country you're from and or if you live here in the U.S., but I know that I was talking about the contest on Global Storm Chasers group, and, you know, there's a lot of people, um, they said, that, hey, this contest is going to be tough for a lot of people around the world because they weren't able to leave, you know, their houses. They weren't able to cross the border to go chasing. Germany, right. So Germany, you know, I know some people there, like there's um, been some chasers in France and um, I think Italy and stuff that have gotten good pictures this year, but there was also a big time of the year that you they weren't able to get out and they also weren't able to like cross borders to chase. So um, so I know that in Europe, it might be, it might be tough. I do think that I saw really, really good pictures last year from around the world, including Australia, um, some good dust storm photos. Um, seen some good lightning photos from France this year and um, Italy. I know that, you know, bulk of them were here, but there's also really good pictures from Canada. So I know there's a good year for photography in general, but um, I, I definitely know that a lot of people couldn't get out and a lot of people couldn't come over here and chase where they get a lot of their great photos every year. So um, that's a bummer. Hopefully next year will be better. And I would like to do, I have talked about doing a retro um, contest for the fun of it and maybe do the entries as a little cheaper just for fun where you can, um, we'll do like a two, 2019, 2018, 2017, et cetera, kind of go back in time and do some best photos of the year um, awards for previous years and see how that goes. But I don't know, this is a lot of work to do this. And so I don't know how to do that in the midst of a storm chasing season. Maybe maybe um, in the fall, it'll be something worth doing. Um, unfortunately, the last comment I can't read. Um, <laughs> well, Tyler, if it's trash, don't edit it. Thank you, Douglas. I can't read all of that, but I saw congratulations and gratitude. Thank you, Jose. Um, oh, Ryan, that stinks. Yeah, I could do best photo you ever did contest. That would be um, that would be an interesting one too. Um, it'd be fun to create an archive. To me, like, that's why I want to do it now for every year. Um, yeah, Tyler. <laughs> I know I just posted my my worst photo from last year in that group. It was fun. Um, yeah, I would like to have an archive like here's the best photos for every year. That's why I'm that's why I'm doing it yearly. But um kind of going back in time would be interesting. So um but yeah, maybe the, the problem is I want to have prizes for everything, right? And so I don't want it to be cheap. And so um Oh, it's time to change the pick. So I figured I would just show you guys that this was a, um, these photos all happened <clears throat> in uh, succession. Um, this is a stack. So these bolts were all just popping out of the storm and I was in a bad spot. As you can see, um, I don't, I totally admit when I Photoshop stuff or get rid of things, this, I was trying to shoot 
um, left, like my original composition was this way and see if I can bump this up so you can kind of see my composition. I don't think I realized that I had some power lines in there. I'm um, right here because it was dark and I didn't see that. But I was hoping the storm was going to move this way and I would get, I don't know why it keeps going in and out, but get something out here. And instead it moved to the right. So um, as it kept going by, you know, I had to keep, I had to pan to the right because I had no choice and I didn't want to move. Um, but I had these power lines in the way and I had this freaking tree in the way, which is really, really irritating to me. So in the final product, I merged them all and I got rid of power lines, um, which you don't see anymore. I got rid of kind of the top of the tree. It's, it's a total, you know, Photoshop editing job and it's a stack anyway already. So um, I just did it for fun. Um, the cool part is I did end up with this decent photo. And when I did Photoshop out the power lines down here in the bottom right corner, but I did pan back over and just pray. I think because I was getting rained on, I did pan back over and pray that some bolt was going to strike right in here. And this one came so close to hitting on this side. But you can, if it comes all the way in, there you go. You can kind of see that it's actually, you can see where it hits in the tip of that little point in there. And I love this. You can see rain getting blown up on the edge of this. So, um, I was glad that finally happened. I was wishing for one more, if it had one more had struck like down here, the one that I really like that, um, um, where is it? It's off camera. Oh, this one would have been good if the power lines weren't in the way and I had been panned right. Cause you can actually see that thing hits right out over there. And, uh, that would have been a cool picture, but Azerbaijan, I don't know where that is. So, um, but anyway, so that's it. If anyone has any questions about anything, feel free to throw them out. I was going to mostly just talk about the contest and then get back to, uh, I think I'm going to work on a tutorial or talk about the, uh, um, I got the Canon R5 uh, recently and I might do a little video out for my Patreon people about the, uh, um, about the R5, which I really, really like. If you haven't got, I mean, it's an expensive camera, so I don't expect a lot of people to have it, although it's not expensive as the Sony A1 that's coming out. Good grief. But um, I really, really like the R5. Hey, Goat Fleet, you go to um, stormphotocontest.com, which is... Um, right here. You can see the top... Oh, uh, well, Google, it's just a brand new site. So Google probably doesn't have it in there yet. Storm photography contest. Let me see what pops up. Yeah, definitely not in there yet. So um, I probably need to work on that a little more. Need to maybe make sure it's submitted to the search engines and all that. Um, I... Uh, I've been a little bit focused more on the fact that I think word of mouth will help me through that. But um, yeah, I was talking to Daniel about the R5. It's it's a great camera. So uh, yeah, that, Ryan, you still have chances. Luckily, there's storms every year, so don't be too be too be or too bummed. Um, but you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to chase. COVID ruined a lot of things for a lot of people. So um, I'll tell you what I've been. I, I get depressed missing storms. If I am out chasing and miss a storm, that was really good. I get bummed. If I'm at home and I should have been out and miss a storm, I get bummed. But the good news is that storms will always happen, and you just gotta um, you know somehow let it go and and then be prepared for the next time. So, um, yeah, it's hard to miss. Luckily, luckily we were able to chase last year, despite COVID, it had a little bit of a dip. And we also, honestly, storm chasing is one of the most, um, isolating things you can do if you chase by yourself or with a friend that you guys haven't been around anybody. 
Today in the hotels were pretty easy. We didn't really see anybody in hotels. We, you know, we wiped everything down when we walked into a hotel room um, and voided people as much as possible. So it actually was a lot easier to um, do that job and chase than it is to do other things. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, storms don't make it into Phoenix anymore, especially dust storms, it seems like. Well, Ryan, the other the other thing is is that you do get storms in um, July and August in in Canada in the plains there, so you got to start chasing there too, because then you don't have to cross the border. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm surprised, Morgan. I think EF fives are a little bit more rare. We could probably see one this year because um, some of the some of the analogs. This year in analogs just basically means comparing conditions right now to past conditions at this time of year. And some of the analogs are saying <clears throat> that we're in a in a situation where in previous setups like this, we have had big tornadoes this year. Back in like 2011, I think, before that. So there is a chance we see a big tornado this year. Thank you, Danicus. Um yeah, Chris, you know, we still, you know, we didn't really, I tried to avoid meetups, but like the first chase I went out there, everyone met at a giant gas station, but a lot of us had masks on and we were just hanging around outside talking, you know, so at least we were outside. Still felt a little funny all meeting up in uh, middle of May or early May with the pandemic where I'm like, eh, but you know, it's try to be really safe and do your best. So Nick, um, I don't know if I'll come to Illinois. I would have to be really good setup, and I'd probably have to be out there on a tour, and um, that and that would be a place like the tour needed to go. Uh, as for myself, like if things start going that far east, I tend to go back home. But I know there's flat areas out there, and if it's a really really good setup, I don't mind going because I I do like uh, things really nice and I do like flat terrain, not as much you know. Except for Arizona, I live here, but it's a little bit easier here to find high spots out there are lots of trees and stuff really really tough um oh same drive distance ryan that's crazy um hey erwin thank you for the kind words man um all the way from cornwall um i don't know if you like football over there or you know football like soccer football because we call it soccer here but my little boy he loves soccer he's about to turn nine and he watches um, recaps every day on YouTube of, of Manchester United games and all this stuff. He loves, uh, he knows all the players on the team now, it seems like. Hey, Melanie, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, oh, yeah, Eastern Canada. Yeah, that's that's probably not as much. I can see how um, the uh, uh, the drive to the, to the central Canada would be just as far, so... Um, yeah, it stinks. Hey, Pyro Mike, please don't burn anything, dude. Um, thank you from Seattle. I love Seattle. I love North Pacific Northwest so much. Honestly, I probably would get depressed by the rain after a while, but I think if I wanted to live anywhere else, that would be like Pacific Northwest would be in my top five locations to want to, to live someday. So... But yeah, so this is the this is the storm photos of the year contest. I guess I obviously need to work on freaking SEO a little bit better. Um, you don't have to worry about watermarks if you don't want them. Um, we we may share photos that we get that we like, although we're not gonna be able to share them all, and we're gonna put our own little watermark on there so that everyone knows where they came from and hopefully protect them a little bit. Um, it's probably better to not have a watermark unless it's subtle, but it, it allows us to kind of see the photo, you know, in its entirety. <laughs> yeah, Northern Plains in Canada had the most, it, well, they seem to have the most tornadoes last year, like um, Minnesota. There was really good storms in the Plains this year, and, um, just no tornadoes, just great structure. We had really, really good structure. 
Hey, Ryan, you're you are welcome. I appreciate that. Now I'm gonna have to look up Lee Orff. I am. Um, I'll show you guys. I'm trying to work on a new um, time lapse film. Um, I don't. Um, I don't know if. I don't know if I like. I love the song. I don't know that I liked how it was coming together and I've kind of thrown it away and I don't really want to work on it for a little bit. So <sighs> yeah, June 6th, that was, um, June 6th was always going to be a derecho, but oh yeah, except early on, we were hoping for an isolated storm and it didn't really, um, it didn't really materialize. So we were waiting, um, we were waiting, holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna find a picture from Derecho Day. I don't remember if I have one in here. Yeah, this was Derecho Day. Yeah, June 6th. That's about like my favorite photo that day. But we had been, um, we had been waiting for supercells north of Rapid City and they just would not materialize. So um, thank you, Morgan. I do like Vorticity 3 though and Monsoon 6. You know what? I end up hating on my old ones um, after a while, but what are you going to do about it? That's just what everybody, most artists end up hating their work after a little while. I think you put out something like a movie and then later you hate it. Or at least that's kind of what I feel like. So um, I have I should edit more photos from that day. We had some really cool um, like shelf cloud pictures and, um, but we had been hoping, well, I think I got rid of all the photos before that. Once this nice shelf cloud and derecho started like hitting us here in um, South Dakota, um, it was nice and um, sad little lightning bolt. That was that was a tough day. We almost got hit by a tornado. So, um, see if I can show you guys this film I'm working on, but I don't know if it's gonna how well it's gonna work. I need to close Photoshop. My computer is getting really bogged down. Probably just crash here in a second. I think broadcasting takes some. Um, yeah, broadcasting takes uh, some processing power, and uh, don't. And then I've just launched Premiere, so it's not good. Um, let me get rid of this. Let me close this. Sorry, Daniel. Yep, buffering, buffering. Um. I, every year I've been doing a black and white film to start the year just for something fun. And uh, so see if I can share it without it being a big problem. Hey, Le um, Lelith, thank you for that. Appreciate it. But this is what I'm trying to like kind of work on. And I don't know how much I like it, but I really like this song. It's a really different like kind of spooky song. It's gonna look very jerky on here. It's not jerky, I promise you, but it's gonna look jerky on this. Shadows in the sky, footsteps in the night behind me. Targets in their sight. Running out of to I can't get the end right, but it gets really intense at the end. So I don't know. That's what I got to work on. But I get you can hear the music. I don't know if you guys can hear the music. I hope you can. I'm sure you can because it's. 
I love this music so much. I'm just telling you. It's really good and it really ramps up. Anyway, I don't know if I like it that much. Part of me wants to just do this in color and just say, screw it, you know, not do black and white, but <laughs> I don't know. I do like doing a black and white one and it's fun. It's just a different vibe, but uh, um, I don't know. Part of me really thinks color would look good too. So uh, just don't know. And I really like this song a lot. I almost want to save the song for something better um, later, but um the problem is it's only four minutes and 16 seconds, so. I don't know, I gotta figure it out. Um. Morgan, I don't know if I, um, I don't know what music that is. Most music you can't use if, um, I don't use my, my um, I don't just use music, I pay for it or um, license it officially. So a lot of music out there you can't use. Um, um, if you do, then you're kind of breaking the law and you're using it illegally. And I like to put ads up on my YouTube channel and I like to try to submit to film festivals. I sell DVDs and all that stuff. So I, I try to license the music legitimately for, for these projects. Hey, Charlie, um, you are so welcome, man. I'm so glad you're excited about it. Charlie, I'm trying to remember, um, I meet a lot of people every year. Um, Rajni, um, there's no 4K on this broadcast because it's just what I'm limited to. I think on, um, I think I can upgrade to 1080p for more money with StreamYard, and I just don't use it enough to pay for it. So, hey Norway, Project Photo Visions, um, thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words. Yeah, I watch out for the monsters from the sky. Probably more like giant hailstones. Those are the monsters that seem to get you. At least ding up my truck. So. Uh, oh, Charlie. Yes. I remember we were, we were um, all hanging out on the side of the road. There was like a ton of chasers there. I remember <laughs> there's a dead snake that Brett was playing with. Hey, Johnny. Nice to see you. Um, uh, Dustin Farrell showed up. Yeah. There was a lot of people there. Um, that was depressing. We had a whole setup for it. We actually had storms go up and, uh, and they just died. It was sad. It was a sad day. And then there was a tornado down south. In, uh, or no. I don't know if there was. But either way, it was a cat bust. It sucked. So what are you going to do? That's the way it goes. The live viewer count, it keeps going up the longer I'm on. Even though um, I probably need to get off soon. Um. Yeah, you, I guess you did luck out, and uh, you probably weren't too happy with it at the at the first. Oh, but yeah, but you got to have beautiful landscapes and stuff to shoot in Norway. Oh my gosh, I would love like dark, moody skies and clouds over that landscape. I just get good snow up there. I need to visit. Ireland and Norway, the Faroe Islands. I need to do all that someday, but I doubt I will. <laughs> Dude, I would have been terrified to miss anything that day. It's nice that it worked out for you. Um, um, I wasn't on El Reno, so I definitely don't have any nightmares about it. 
Although I do know if I watch any videos about El Reno, I, I kind of question why I chase still. Um, hey, Hungry, nice to see you. Rajni, that's awesome. Wow. I hope, I wish you the best um, becoming a meteorologist. That's, it's tough. I thought about doing it, but I can't get past some of the math. And I really just like to take pictures. And some of that stuff is a little bit too much for my brain. Um, well, there you go. Great bend. Spinny LPs are nice. I'm trying to remember what happened. The um, What day was the, the cat bus day? Um, June 3rd? Nope. Not that day either. Um, yeah, the 23rd. Yeah, so the 24th, though, we got um, 24th was awesome. South East Colorado and the Southwest Kansas was fantastic. So you go from one bad day to um, a fantastic day, you know? Um, you know, this was, these are the four pictures I got from that, the bus day, which I didn't, I just deleted everything and there was a distant storm, but the 24th was fantastic, um, storm in, uh, Southeast Kansas or Southeast Colorado that we chased all the way into um, Kansas for a long time, just straight East. It was great. Perfect roads. Um, Awesome storms, um, great. I mean, it was fun. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah, we were close to that. So close. Uh, I hate busting. I hate busting. Ooh, May twenty first sublet day. That was huge. But yeah, I think this year could be good. My computer just decided to. Um, oh, there we go. Still think one of these photos here might make a pretty picture. I haven't edited it yet, though. Um, good lightning at sunset on this storm. That would have been a good bolt that I missed. Um, this was supposed to be a really good day, too, in South Dakota. And we um, felt like we kind of got skunked a little bit. But then at sunset, we got a beautiful storm over uh, Rapid City, which was nice. Um, Offer day, that was good too. Um, I don't ever chase with Pecos, but we're good friends. Um, I ran into him once last year and a couple times a year before. He chases kind of like me a little bit, pretty um, private. Um, I don't I don't chase with a lot of people except when I'm doing tours and then maybe I have someone following, but I try to stick to my stick to being on my own. So he kind of hides from people. I think he avoids that because he gets a little uh Gets people following him and stuff too, if they find him. Although he's pretty inconspicuous. Um, unless he gets out of his car, then he's a tall, freaking lanky, long haired guy that everybody knows. So then they'd spot him. <laughs> so he probably stays in his car a lot. Um, but uh, we're good friends. And um, we just did a little live chat over on Patreon the other day um, with my buddy Brett. And it was good talk to him, talking to him. So hopefully this year we'll get to hang out. So. Yeah, Pecos, man, he's a legend. I should, ed I need to edit uh, this picture. This is the one I want to edit, but I don't, I don't know how good it's going to turn out. I have to really work on it. But there were um, some nice uh, horses once this loads all the way. Right there. It's pretty, uh, I forget what those were called, but I need to edit it better. This is just a quick edit in Lightroom. So I need to do better. That was one of my favorite storms of the year right there. It was beautiful. It was awesome to see. Hank is super chill. The chillest of the chill. Even when he's got a tornado uh, coming at him, he's super chill. So, All right, guys. I think I'm going to jump off because my kids are almost ready for lunch. They're about done with school for lunch break, and I got some stuff to take care of. So 
Thank you all for watching. Please um, um, hit me up with any questions on a storm photo contest. If you're interested in doing that stormphotocontest.com, check it out. Hopefully. Uh, oh yeah. I think you mean read, read Timmer Morgan, but yes, the opposite. <laughs> hey, SS grill. Thank you. Oh, enjoy shoveling snow, man. That sucks. Um, thanks Charlie. And it was good to meet you. Um, hopefully I remember when I see you again, I kind of remember faces, but I'm bad with names and especially bad with connecting to them online. When I see a name, when I meet a name in person or meet someone in person, learn a name. And then I see you online. I have a hard time making that connection for some reason. So yeah, make it your bucket list. Try to get out here sometime. Probably not till 2022 at least, but, um, I hope you can. So, all right guys, thank you for, um, uh, watching. And thanks for uh, you know supporting me on YouTube. Thanks for being subscribers. That means a lot. Hopefully, I will get some uh, some kind of new video out for you guys I, if I do this black and white one or not. So, um, Storm Chasing Charlie, I like that name. All right, Charlie, you guys all take care. Thank you very much.